Hello everyone welcome back to my channel, subscribe for more new videos, today, we'll discuss recent updates on the Iraqi dinar, Iraq was already a member of the World Trade Organization, WTO, but is currently going through the assessment process again, this is because all the rules, regulations, understandings, and business practices changed after the fall of Saddam Hussein, now, Iraq must ensure all their practices align once again with the WTO. Iraq has been a member since 2004, and this is their second time undergoing the assessment process. A common question is, with such a large budget, how does Iraq meet their project demands without an increase in the exchange rate? External expenses are paid in dollars since their primary revenue is in dollars. The dinar is used for salaries and other domestic expenses. Militia Man states that once Iraq applies a real effective exchange rate, it will become compliant with Article 8 and Article 4 of the IMF, leading to evaluation of the country's worth. When observing the Middle East, it's important to remember it's a different often brutal environment. Samir Al-Nari from the Central Bank announced the launch of the National Lending Strategy on May 25, 2024, marking the beginning of the second phase of banking reform. The first phase involved building solid international banking relationships. Economic expert Basim Anand views the Central Bank's initiative positively, noting it aims to finance large projects for graduates and reduce unemployment by stimulating economic activity. He emphasizes the importance of verifying the potential seriousness and economic viability of projects before granting loans, avoiding complications and routine that hinder progress. Yesterday, Central Bank Governor Ali Alilik launched the National Lending Strategy for 2024-2029, in the presence of officials, diplomats, and representatives from international organizations, in cooperation with the German Agency for International Cooperation. Stay tuned for more updates and information.